Hey everyone, welcome back. We're here for another video. Um, I'm just out and about doing a bit of a ride, doing some, uh, sussing out a bit of photography, getting some fitness done while I can. See this beautiful old tree? Well, I think I've got a good composition for it. it um, it's not far from home. It's a push bike ride, which is good. I'm thinking about a bit of astro work. You can sort of see where it is there. Now, tonight the global center should come across that over there. I've gone, I'm going, why is my arm going the wrong way? That's weird. Um, yeah, no, the other way, over this way. Oh, that's, that's, that's very confusing. <laughs> and so let me try so over my head it should be anyway up here the global center for the milky way should come above that tree so what i've done is i've come in i've marked just i've marked a foot mark in the ground with the tripod i've gone and got uh you can see it there with the tree so i'll be down on this this angle here looking up at it i've used the photo pills app to line up where the Milky Way will be. Now the PhotoPills app is an awesome app. Uh, if you haven't used it before and you're trying to scout out locations, uh, even for sunrises, sunsets, it's amazing. Check it out. Um, I use it all the time now. It's really super, super useful. So I've determined where the Milky Way is going to be and about half past midnight, it's going to come sort of middle of that tree and go and then move its way above the tree. So I'll have a good hour, two hours with that Milky Way basically going straight behind or through that tree, which is just spectacular. It's a long way away from any lights, so I'm hopeful it's going to be dark enough to limit that light and there's some trees that should block that light as well. So whereas I've had some dramas with light before, um, basically it's very tricky to block out that city light because um, we're just too close to Perth. So I'm hopeful that might work in my advantage. See how we go. But I've taken some daytime shots now. Uh, so I've got it so I can blend them in so I can get a nice, beautiful, if I have to, get a nice, beautiful daylight shot in there with all the detail and then put that night sky back and just paint that daylight detail over the tree and just sort of dodge and burn it in, I guess. And just, I think that'll make it pop a little bit. So if I can remember how I got here, <laughs> that'll be the next tricky thing. And whether I can get in, uh, that's the only other issue I have. But uh, there's some other compositions that we go check around. I've only just got in here, so I got a little excited, but it's just one of those trees and it's in the right spot, clear, so there's nothing around it to sort of mess it up. Looks pretty good. Anyway, let's keep rolling.
guys, uh, welcome back. Um, rightio, so we got the I probably definitely can't see it. Um, I don't know if I can get my light on it to show you the tree. No, it's not showing up. The what about the, uh, what about that one? No, torches aren't bright enough over the light on the camera. Um, but yeah, so basically, come back to the tree. Uh, just outside Whiteman Park, um, just on the boundary was my B shot. I've got a day shot and then I've got this night shot to use and work out the big thing I found tonight um, that I think will make a big difference is auto white balance. Um, that I reckon I have been stuffing up with my night shots, my astro shots. So I played around a bit with that and it looked a heap better. So super super excited to see what the photos come back at i reckon i'm slowly getting there and i think this might be the one i'm fingers crossed it's a beautiful night there's a little bit of light pollution over here coming from the city but i'm hopeful it's not enough to wreck the photo um if there is there's not much i can do in perth that's you have to go another 50 i think it's like 50 to 100 k's uh, that out of town to just to get into the black zone. I just can't do that at night. But um, anyway, uh, well, that's about it. Um, I did get some shots today of when I was running around doing a bit of a research uh, on the area. So I'm going to, you'll see those as well. And there's some really nice ones there, I thought. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely little area. And I think this is the sec my second visit now. So, and finding more and more about the place in the surrounding areas around Cabersham, so uh, pretty excited. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you can see my hand, I think there's a subscribe button down there. Uh, go check that out. Uh, hit the bell. You'll know when the next video is, and thanks for stopping by. Appreciate your support. Right here, guys. Catch you on the next one.